hi there in the upcoming lectures we're going to talk about the latest microsoft store app integration to work with this microsoft store application which is a new you need to have some kind of you know basics that's where i'm going to talk about some core concepts that are related to this specific subject the new store experience is going to be the permanent and the old experience of Microsoft Store is going to retire by end of 31st March 2023. So that being said, you need to understand the core concepts that are back and how it's going to work. So the first one would be Universal Windows Platform. So this is an application method. The way of the applications that they are developing are applications that we create are based on uwp apps meaning u stands here universal windows platform based application what exactly uwp apps this is nothing but an application can work let's say you take some application maybe uh, like a 7-zip or WinZip. that application can work on any kind of device when i say any all the microsoft operating systems on that it can work so you get a seamless experience on that for example when i say all the applications microsoft xbox one or microsoft hololens or windows uh, 10 or windows 11 or even internet of things devices also it can work those applications so we are talking about the new method of applications that are going to develop by developers uh, or on a u wp apps and also the web applications that you are going to interact with over the web also has a some kind of a new experience which which we call as a progressive web applications in a short we also called pwas what does it mean is when you are browsing over the web it actually works as a application model so this has the, something new and these days it can offer you the advantages over the web also without requiring the end user to visit the app store experience so these are the two uh, different type of applications are getting developed so what it means to you is based on these things microsoft has started something called windows package manager or in short WPM so what exactly WPM is Windows Package Manager it actually uh, exists on any of your Windows 10 or Windows 11 at this point of time uh, on and also Windows uh, 10 from 2004 are a different version you have this tool as a built-in which in a minute we're going to talk about this so what exactly this is uh, it's actually works with a uh, source code is source code is available in the github uh, you can you know visit to the uh, wpm package source code it's a basically collection of uh, it's software it, it consists of some kind of you know commands and tools all of that but ideally we would work with a command line tool so what exactly that command is it's a command called winget command so when you go to your computer and open up your command line you normally get a, a winget command which would actually uh, gives you for example if you see this is my uh, command line i can type winget so what happens is this is gonna give me an option to uh, install applications or it's gonna search all of that so in a minute we are gonna quick uh, deep drive into this to better understand but let's understand from what exactly the windows package man at this point of time so we understand that wpm is a a tool which is built in on nowadays on a windows platform and it's a command line tool winget and post to that within the winget it's a built-in we talked about windows 11 and windows 10 it's part of uh, if you install the app installer from microsoft store it will come up otherwise with the latest builds it is also part of your windows 10. now uh, from starting from 1709 this version is uh, supported winget okay so what we are gonna do with this tool is let me show you some interesting things uh, which can be land with this tool so this command line has different commands so let's say I have something called install which is going to install 
which is going to show up your package information or so where is a source and search you can search for an application let's say you want to find out a uh, winzip so you should be able to you know find that if you're still confusing let me stop here to give you a quick demo let's say you have winget okay i want to search example that's a command which we are talking about in this case here the search so i'll just simply type search an application called winzip example okay what would happen is on my machine it's not going to search it's actually going to search over the internet okay for the winzip so you no need to go to the winzip site to download and package all of this stuff is no more required I repeat, it's not required. You have that packages available by a company called, uh, maybe in this case, you know, WinZip has already developed and made it readily available. So similarly, if I search for a Zoom application here, example, so it's going to search and this application, in this case, the Zoom application is uh, published by Zoom company, okay, a company called a Zoom uh, company that's the zoom producer right the application developer has already readily available made it available for you all you have to do is you have to just install on your machine so for that there is a command line called install if you see here you have an install button so you have a show source local list like this you know many other applications or application specific commands are available like install upgrade validate settings features and export of course import also so these are the options that you could you know work with the package or with the command line tool right now let's have a look on it a high level of commands okay so the high level command is the first one would be the search so if you want to search for example which we have already a demo like winget search winzip so it's gonna go back and it will search so if you see here this is a name of the application this is an id which is a unique id what does it mean is in a microsoft store this application is published okay so when i say published the source is may not be with the microsoft it may be with the winzip company so winzip company when they release the application and they also going to release as a store package and this store package source is in winzip company's uh, cdn or uh, you know content delivery network or wherever they have that source kept it is available there what does it means is you need to have a access from your computer not only to the microsoft store you need to have also access to that cdn meaning your firewall should be allowed to get it installed or to reach that source to download it okay so in, in a short you don't need to install by downloading the application you can simply install from winget okay this is, this is something new right so let's have a look on an install button how you could do it simple winget install give the package name if you remember we when we search for the package called winzip we have a winzip space 26 right the space has to go uh, in a quotes so that's why we did here mention in a double quotes so that it is gonna install the specific application so in a minute it will simply install this application and this is a publisher if you see winzip company has created this complete package for us and what we can do we can simply use that package so how this is gonna uh, relate to your Intune stuff is actually this entire stuff what I'm trying to show you on a command prompt is now fully integrated in a Microsoft Intune portal that's why uh, this is something new for you but in the back end if I show you once the steps it will be easy for you uh, to understand from a store experience search experience from a uh, Intune, po Intune portal experience okay my friends so now the list so if I try to list uh, it's gonna give more details uh, about that package okay and uh, if you look at uninstall if you want to uninstall this you should be able to do it for example first command winget list my name of the application now I want to uninstall so if you see this yellow color so what I've done is winget uninstall silent and this is a command line I used 
for the package name. That's it. It's going to uninstall that package for me.